We've got another winner in the studio uh, with us right now. Uh, Lucy Stone is from Brighton Charity Rhythmics, uh, helping to transform lives and um, and using music to do that. Hello. Hello, good We morning. were just talking about uh, it, that, that, that f how everybody who got onto stage was terribly, well, humble about it all, weren't they? I mean, it was, it was almost like, oh, well, I don't really, I'm not sure I deserve this. You we know? all thought somebody else was going to win in our categories, definitely. It must be hard, actually. You're sitting there and you, you hear the stories of all the other people you're up against and you think, oh, well, they're good. Yeah. And they were, oh, yeah, oh, well, they're, oh, that's it. Uh, you know, we, and then you, your name was called out and I, there was a bit of a whoop, wasn't there, when Rhythmix yeah. got <laughs> <laughs> We were both in shock. We kind of looked at each other and went, oh, they did say Rhythmix. Oh, OK, right, OK. We were both in shock. We were just expecting with the two others in our category not to hear our name. Right. So this is the art, arts category and you use art in a, in a really special way with music. And you better explain for, for, for a sort of a, a user's guide to Rhythmix. What do you do? We take music into places you wouldn't really expect to see music because we know that music is a fantastic tool to build bridges with people. So um, in Brighton, you might see us at the Alex in the Children's Hospital or in the Emerald Ward. Um, we work at children's hospitals and dementia wards all over the region. We work up at Chalk Hill um, with the children and young people up there. So our musicians go into the wards invite people to take part in a kind of musical interaction. It might be with the people in their bay that they've not even spoken to. And by the time they leave, they're creating music, they're having fun, they're making memories, and they're connecting with the people around them. So you, the musicians go in and then they, they, they play some music and then they get the people around them to join in. And that is a, that's a wonderful opportunity for people who perhaps don't even talk to each other to, to get together. What is it, I mean, you mentioned the dementia patients. What does it do for them? Because music is a great connector, isn't it? E even for people who are having real memory problems. I think everybody who knows somebody suffering with dementia has seen that moment when they light up, when music is played and they have that connection with their memories. For some reason, and it, you know, there are, I'm not an academic, but I know there's a lot of research out there to show that music is the last thing that disconnects. Music is the last memory to go. So we start with kind of familiar um, songs to them. And then through that, they kind of come back into themselves and then they start to make music on iPads with whatever instruments are there. And sometimes you, we actually discover people who have been musicians all their lives, but it's been hidden by the condition. And then we bring that back out of them. And for their families, that's just a wonderful moment. If you work, work for a charity, you you have all sorts of stresses like where's the next where's yeah. the next pound coming from i mean and that you're you're involved very much in that um and you've got to balance those stresses with what you're able to give back mm. and um w one thing i reflected on i mean we i work on a local radio station which is not you know it's not it's it's not a trader in the city so i i feel quite good about what i do but i bet you feel really good about what you do don't you well, I was asked that question last night, like, how does it feel doing this work? And it gets you out of bed in the morning. You know, it gives Can't you... Can't be just a job, though. No, of course not. I mean, you know, one of my colleagues, Jo, is doing a 24-hour music event this weekend where she's going to play accordion for 24 hours. Uh, people are welcome to join us. We'll be down at Angel House on the seafront in Brighton. We're looking for fiddle players to play between 1 and 4 o'clock, singers to join us for a big sing at 5 o'clock. It's not just a job. I mean, Joe wouldn't be doing that if she wasn't utterly invested in the work. And you see how, how much good it does as well, you know, on, on a daily yeah, basis, which is fantastic. It. Well yeah. done to everybody at Rhythmix. And you managed to get a plug in for your event as well. Oh. <laughs> very, very good going this morning, Lucy. I like the way you operate. I know, I'm five hours sleep. <laughs> it was a late one. Well, well done. Thanks very much indeed. And uh, display your little ornament, your your your, your prize uh, prominently and, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you so thank much. You, thank, thank you. Thank you so much.